to do my final illusion. What do you mean, thank God for that? <laughs> yes, my final illusion, ladies and gentlemen. I hesitate to do it, but the management have forced me to do this particular illusion. I say forced because this particular illusion is very frightening. If you'd like to move back, if you're in a nervous disposition, if you have a weak bladder, I warn you right now, it is a frightening illusion. But it is just an illusion. I refer to, of course, the guillotine of death. They won't stand up for the Queen. Why would they stand up for the Marcel Ice? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you see here before you, Vicious machine. Machine invented by Monsieur Le Guillotine in France during the French Revolution. A machine similar to this, much bigger, was used to cut the heads off aristocrats. A terrible time, ladies and gentlemen. The aristocrats or the victim would come forward and place their head through this aperture. And then the blade would come crashing down severing that person's head from its body. I am now about to demonstrate this terrible machine, ladies and gentlemen. Can I have a carrot, please? A carrot? A carrot, it's a parrot. A carrot! Thank you, a carrot, ladies and gentlemen. I shall now place the carrot into this aperture. Now, ladies and gentlemen, many aristocrats stood in this position many years ago. Proud, as I am proud, to present to you now. It's not far off now. Oh, I'm sorry. It's very thin. It won't stand up on its own. It needs encouragement. Ladies and gentlemen, I will now demonstrate the viciousness of this machine, the Magnum. Now One. Two. Three. As you see, ladies and gentlemen, the carrot is dead. A terrible machine. A machine of death, ladies and gentlemen. But I can assure you that this machine is merely an entertainment. At this particular stage, ladies and gentlemen, my assistant, Bubbles the Clown, will now place her head into the aperture and I will demonstrate that this machine, of course, is magical and will not harm her in any... What do you mean? No, we've got to have somebody put her head in there. <laughs> have that Bernie, he looks all right. No. They don't want me to put me head in there. No, you, you don't want me to put head in there. Here we go. All right, ladies and gentlemen. It is a far, far better thing I do now than I have ever done before. Thank you. Survive the great Misto. Will he survive, Madame Guillotine? 